The world line, or world line of an object is the path that object traces in four-dimensional spacetime. It is an important concept in modern physics, and particularly theoretical physics. The concept of a «world line» is distinguished from concepts such as an «orbit» or a «trajectory» e.g., a planet's orbit in space or the trajectory of a car on a road by the time dimension, and typically encompasses a large area of spacetime wherein perceptually straight paths are recalculated to show their relatively more absolute position states—to reveal the nature of special relativity or gravitational interactions. The idea of world lines originates in physics and was pioneered by Hermann Minkowski. The term is now most often used in relativity theories i.e., special relativity and general relativity. Usage in physics In physics, a world line of an object approximated as a point in space, e.g., a particle or observer is the sequence of spacetime events corresponding to the history of the object. A world line is a special type of curve in spacetime. Below an equivalent definition will be explained, a world line is a time-like curve in spacetime. Each point of a world line is an event that can be labeled with the time and the spatial position of the object at that time. For example, the orbit of the Earth in space is approximately a circle, a three-dimensional closed curve in space, the Earth returns every year to the same point in space. However, it arrives there at a different later time. The world line of the Earth is helical in spacetime a curve in a four-dimensional space and does not return to the same point. Spacetime is the collection of points called events, together with a continuous and smooth coordinate system identifying the events. Each event can be labeled by four numbers, a time coordinate and three space coordinates, thus spacetime is a four-dimensional space. The mathematical term for spacetime is a four-dimensional manifold. The concept may be applied as well to a higher dimensional space. For easy visualizations of four dimensions, two space coordinates are often suppressed. The event is then represented by a point in a Minkowski diagram, which is a plane usually plotted with the time coordinate, say t upwards and the space coordinate, say x horizontally. As expressed by F. R. Harvey, a curve m in spacetime is called a world line of a particle if its tangent is future time-like at each point. The arc length parameter is called proper time and usually denoted tau. The length of m is called the proper time of the world line or particle. If the world line m is a line segment, then the particle is said to be in free fall. A world line traces out the path of a single point in spacetime. A world sheet is the analogous two-dimensional surface traced out by a one-dimensional line like a string traveling through spacetime. The world sheet of an open string with loose ends is a strip, that of a closed string a loop is a volume. Once the object is not approximated as a mere point but has extended volume, it traces out not a world line but rather a world tube. World lines as a tool to describe events A one-dimensional line or curve can be represented by the coordinates as a function of one parameter. Each value of the parameter corresponds to a point in spacetime and varying the parameter traces out a line. So in mathematical terms a curve is defined by four coordinate functions x a tau equals 0 1 2 3 display style x caret a tau equals 0 1 2 3 where x 0 display style x caret 0 usually denotes the time coordinate depending on one parameter tau display style tau a coordinate grid in spacetime is the set of curves one obtains if three out of four coordinate functions are set to a constant. Sometimes, the term world line is loosely used for any curve in spacetime. This terminology causes confusions. More properly, a world line is a curve in spacetime which traces out the time history of a particle, observer or small object. 
one usually takes the proper time of an object or an observer as the curve parameter tau display style tau along the world line topic trivial examples of spacetime curves A curve that consists of a horizontal line segment, a line at constant coordinate time, may represent a rod in spacetime and would not be a world line in the proper sense. The parameter traces the length of the rod. A line at constant space coordinate, a vertical line in the convention adopted above, may represent a particle at rest or a stationary observer. A tilted line represents a particle with a constant coordinate speed, constant change in space coordinate with increasing time coordinate. The more the line is tilted from the vertical, the larger the speed. Two world lines that start out separately and then intersect, signify a collision or encounter. Two world lines starting at the same event in spacetime, each following its own path afterwards, may represent the decay of a particle into two others or the emission of one particle by another. World lines of a particle and an observer may be interconnected with the world line of a photon the path of light and form a diagram which depicts the emission of a photon by a particle which is subsequently observed by the observer or absorbed by another particle. <laughs> Tangent vector to a world line, 4 velocity The four coordinate functions x a tau a equals 0 1 2 3 display style x caret a tau a equals 0 1 2 3 defining a world line a real functions of a real variable tau display style tau and can simply be differentiated in the usual calculus Without the existence of a metric, this is important to realize. One can speak of the difference between a point p, display style p, on the curve at the parameter value tau zero, display style tau underscore zero, and a point on the curve a little parameter tau zero plus delta tau. Display style tau underscore zero plus delta tau farther away in the limit delta tau zero display style delta tau right arrow zero this difference divided by delta tau display style delta tau defines a vector the tangent vector of the world line at the point p display style p it is a four dimensional vector defined in the point p display style p it is associated with the normal three dimensional velocity of the object but it is not the same and therefore called four velocity v display style vec v or in components v equals v 0 v 1 v 2 v 3 equals d x 0 d tau d x 1 d tau d x 2 d tau d x 3 d tau display style vec v equals v caret 0 v caret 1 v caret 2 v caret 3 equals left frac dx caret 0 d tau frac dx caret 1 d tau frac dx caret 2 d tau frac dx caret 3 d tau right where the derivatives are taken at the point P display style P so at tau equals tau zero display style tau equals tau underscore zero 
All curves through point P have a tangent vector, not only world lines. The sum of two vectors is again a tangent vector to some other curve and the same holds for multiplying by a scalar. Therefore, all tangent vectors in a point P span a linear space, called the tangent space at point P. For example, taking a two-dimensional space, like the curved surface of the Earth, its tangent space at a specific point would be the flat approximation of the curved space. <laughs> World lines in special relativity So far a world line and the concept of tangent vectors has been described without a means of quantifying the interval between events. The basic mathematics is as follows, the theory of special relativity puts some constraints on possible world lines. In special relativity the description of spacetime is limited to special coordinate systems that do not accelerate and so do not rotate either, called inertial coordinate systems. In such coordinate systems, the speed of light is a constant. The structure of spacetime is determined by a bilinear form eta which gives a real number for each pair of events. The bilinear form is sometimes called a spacetime metric, but since distinct events sometimes result in a zero value, unlike metrics in metric spaces of mathematics, the bilinear form is not a mathematical metric on spacetime. World lines of freely falling particles, objects are called geodesics. In special relativity these are straight lines in Minkowski space. Often the time units are chosen such that the speed of light is represented by lines at a fixed angle, usually at 45 degrees, forming a cone with the vertical time axis. In general, useful curves in spacetime can be of three types the other types would be partly one, partly another type Light-like curves, having at each point the speed of light. They form a cone in spacetime, dividing it into two parts. The cone is three-dimensional in spacetime, appears as a line in drawings with two dimensions suppressed, and as a cone in drawings with one spatial dimension suppressed. Time-like curves, with a speed less than the speed of light. These curves must fall within a cone defined by light-like curves. In our definition above, world lines are time-like curves in spacetime. Space-like curves falling outside the light cone. Such curves may describe, for example, the length of a physical object. The circumference of a cylinder and the length of a rod are space-like curves. At a given event on a world line, spacetime Minkowski space is divided into three parts. The future of the given event is formed by all events that can be reached through time-like curves lying within the future light cone. The past of the given event is formed by all events that can influence the event that is, which can be connected by world lines within the past light cone to the given event. The light cone at the given event is formed by all events that can be connected through light rays with the event. When we observe the sky at night, we basically see only the past light cone within the entire spacetime. Elsewhere is the region between the two light cones. Points in an observer's elsewhere are inaccessible to her, him, only points in the past can send signals to the observer. In ordinary laboratory experience, using common units and methods of measurement, it may seem that we look at the present, but in fact there is always a delay time for light to propagate. For example, we see the sun as it was about eight minutes ago, not as it is, right now. Unlike the present in Galilean, Newtonian theory, the elsewhere is thick, it is not a three-dimensional volume but is instead a four-dimensional spacetime region. Included in «elsewhere» is the simultaneous hyperplane, which is defined for a given observer by a space which is hyperbolic orthogonal to her, his world line. It is really three-dimensional, though it would be a two-plane in the diagram because we had to throw away one dimension to make an intelligible picture. Although the light cones are the same for all observers at a given spacetime event, different observers, with differing velocities but coincident at the event point in the spacetime, have world lines that cross each other at an angle determined by their relative velocities, and thus they have different simultaneous hyperplanes. The present often means the single spacetime event being considered. Topic: <laughs> Simultaneous hyperplane. Since a world line W tau element of R four display style W tau in R caret four determines a velocity four vector, 
v equals d w d tau display style v equals frac d w d tau that is time like the minkowski form eta v x display style eta v x determines a linear function r 4 r display style r caret 4 right arrow r by x eta v x display style x mapsto eta v x let n be the null space of this linear functional then n is called the simultaneous hyperplane with respect to v the relativity of simultaneity is a statement that n depends on v indeed n is the orthogonal complement of v with respect to eta when two world lines u and w are related by d u d tau equals d w d tau display style frac do d tau equals frac d w d tau then they share the same simultaneous hyperplane this hyperplane exists mathematically but physical relations in relativity involve the movement of information by light for instance, the traditional electrostatic force described by Coulomb's law may be pictured in a simultaneous hyperplane, but relativistic relations of charge and force involve retarded potentials. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> World lines in general relativity. The use of world lines in general relativity is basically the same as in special relativity, with the difference that spacetime can be curved. A metric exists and its dynamics are determined by the Einstein field equations and are dependent on the mass-energy distribution in spacetime. Again the metric defines light-like null, space-like and time-like curves. Also, in general relativity, world lines are time-like curves in spacetime, where time-like curves fall within the Lightconi. However, a light cone is not necessarily inclined at 45 degrees to the time axis. However, this is an artifact of the chosen coordinate system, and reflects the coordinate freedom diffeomorphism invariance of general relativity. Any time-like curve admits a commoving observer whose time axis corresponds to that curve, and, since no observer is privileged, we can always find a local coordinate system in which light cones are inclined at 45 degrees to the time axis. See also for example Eddington-Finkelstein coordinates. World lines of free-falling particles or objects such as planets around the Sun or an astronaut in space are called geodesics. <laughs> <laughs> World lines in quantum field theory Quantum field theory, the framework in which all of modern particle physics is described, is usually described as a theory of quantized fields. However, although not widely appreciated, it has been known since Feynman that many quantum field theories may equivalently be described in terms of world lines. The world line formulation of quantum field theory has proved particularly fruitful for various calculations in gauge theories and in describing nonlinear effects of electromagnetic fields. Topic: World lines in literature. In 1884, C. H. Hinton wrote an essay, "What is the Fourth Dimension," which he published as a scientific romance. He wrote, "Why then should not the four-dimensional beings be ourselves and our successive states, the passing of them through the three-dimensional space to which our consciousness is confined?" A popular description of human world lines was given by J. C. Fields at the University of Toronto in the early days of relativity. As described by Toronto lawyer Norman Robertson, I remember Fields lecturing at one of the Saturday evening lectures at the Royal Canadian Institute. It was advertised to be a mathematical fantasy, and it was. The substance of the exercise was as follows, he postulated that, commencing with his birth, every human being had some kind of spiritual aura with a long filament or thread attached, that travelled behind him throughout his life. 
He then proceeded in imagination to describe the complicated entanglement every individual became involved in his relationship to other individuals, comparing the simple entanglements of youth to those complicated knots that develop in later life, because they oversimplify world lines, which traverse four-dimensional spacetime, into one-dimensional timelines. Almost all purported science fiction stories about time travel would not be possible in reality. Some device or superpowered person is generally portrayed as departing from one point in time, and with little or no subjective lag, arriving at some other point in time but at the same literally geographic point in space, typically inside a workshop or near some historic site. However, in reality, the planet, its solar system, and its galaxy would all be at vastly different spatial positions on arrival. Thus, the time travel mechanism would also have to provide instantaneous teleportation, with infinitely accurate and simultaneous adjustment of final 3D location, linear momentum, and angular momentum. Author Oliver Franklin published a science fiction work in 2008 entitled World Lines, in which he related a simplified explanation of the hypothesis for Lehman. In the short story Life Line, author Robert A. Heinlein describes the world line of a person. He stepped up to one of the reporters. Suppose we take you as an example. Your name is Rogers, is it not? Very well, Rogers, you are a space-time event having duration four ways. You are not quite six feet tall, you are about twenty inches wide and perhaps ten inches thick. In time, there stretches behind you more of this space-time event, reaching to perhaps 1916, of which we see a cross-section here at right angles to the time axis, and as thick as the present. At the far end is a baby, smelling of sour milk and drooling its breakfast on its bib. At the other end lies, perhaps, an old man someplace in the 1980s. Imagine this space time event that we call Rogers as a long pink worm, continuous through the years, one end in his mother's womb, and the other at the grave. Heinlein's Methuselah's Children uses the term, as does James Blish's The Quincunx of Time, expanded from. Beep. A visual novel named Stein's, Gate, produced by 5PB, tells a story based on the shifting of world lines. Stein's, Gate is a part of the Science Adventure series. World lines and other physical concepts like the Dirac Sea are also used throughout the series. Neil Stevenson's novel Anathem involves a long discussion of world lines over dinner in the midst of a philosophical debate between Platonic realism and nominalism. Absolute Choice depicts different world lines as a subplot and setting device. Topic: See also Specific types of world lines Geodesics Closed timelike curves Causal structure – curves that represent a variety of different types of world line Isotropic line Feynman diagram Time geography